Well, day two of the State Girls Basketball Tournament features a whole new slate of quarterfinals, meaning new storylines, as teams continue on the path for a state title. Local 4's Mason Kern continues to follow it all and has more from Lincoln. Day two of State Girls Basketball means quarterfinals for the other classes. Adam Central makes its third straight appearance coming off last year's state runner-up finish. Sydney is the two seed and ties the game before half. Ryan Dillahay drills it from distance. It's 20 to 20. This game stays tight through the fourth. Patriots going on a run and add three more from Briley Nienhuser in the corner. Adam Central takes a seven point lead, but don't count out the Raiders. They go on a 10-0 run and Kayla Westby gives them the lead on the putback. Final minute now, Nienhuser gets to the line. She breaks another tie and puts AC up one. But enter Carson Leeling off the inbound. Leeling fires the three and that's your game winner. Sydney avoids the upset 40 to 38, while the Patriots suffer their first loss in the first round of state since 2019. Heartbreak for the Patriots, but we have a guaranteed local state semifinalist in Class D1. O'Neill St. Mary's has been here before. This marks their third straight appearance at the state tournament, and they draw a familiar foe today. The Cardinals draw McCool Junction, a team they beat by just two at the Nebraska Girls Basketball Showcase in Kearney. Closed game out of half, and the Mustangs knotted up on the three from Brienne Stutzman. We're tied at 25. Cardinals go on a run, though, and Maya Hedstrom is a big reason why. Collects her miss and scores. She finishes with a game-high 25 points today. To the fourth now, St. Mary's padding a lead. Annabelle Barlow with the Euro step and finish at the dish. Cardinals go up 10 and never look back. St. Mary's is going to the state semifinals for the second time in three years, winning 53 to 40. This is our goal, to make it past and then focus on the next game, so I'm really happy for all of us. We actually faced um, a cool junction earlier in the season, um, so we knew we could beat them. We just wanted to beat them bigger, and that gave us a lot more confidence. Minden makes the state tournament for the first time since 2015. The Whippets coming off a state volleyball championship, trying to upset undefeated Bridgeport. Maddie Camry going to work in the first and opens up the scoring. She finishes with 12 today, but Bella Schluterbush has the quick answer. The three goes, and it's a one-point game. This is a game of runs, though, with Bridgeport leading later. Myla Emery with the and one in the second half to close the gap. She scores a team-high 20 today, but the Bulldogs stay unbeaten and take it 65 to 57. More coverage of the night games to come, but for now, reporting in Lincoln, Mason Kern, Local 4 Sports.